Press. And here is that well-known trotting conditioner, Chuck Sylvester, that you were just talking about. And Chuck, today you conducted a little seminar on the back stretch here, talking about conditioning the trotter. Did you give away the keys to your success? Well, probably. Uh, you know, I don't mind helping anybody I can in nowadays because, uh, you know, if anybody new wants to get in this business, they need a lot of help a lot of times, so I'm sure glad I could do it. Well, it was a wonderful seminar. I think it's something that our industry does need. Um, however, you talk about helping one another. As trainers go, I even saw you uh, with your head together. I think it was with Jimmy Tactor, and you looked very warm and friendly. Is there much rivalry among the conditioning ranks? Well, there is, but a lot of us talk to one another, and a lot of us uh, go over different ideas that we've tried. But, you know, once you get out there on the track, it's strictly competition. Well, it is strictly competition, and you have had a lot of success as a conditioner of trotters, perhaps best associated with Mac Lobel, but you say your preference is for training young trotting fillies. Why the fillies? Well, because fillies, uh, you know, you got to ask them to do a lot. They're like ladies. Uh, most of them cost a lot of money, and you have to ask them. So, uh, you know, you have to have patience, and I've seemed to have that with a lot of fillies. Boy, do I like that comment. You're a man after my own heart, Chuck Sylvester. Well, tell us a little bit about this particular filly and if she has any of those uh, notional ways. Well, she's really been kind of a disappointment, even though she's made some money this year. She's been the favorite in a lot of big races and made breaks for some unknown reason. She's raced well in the eliminations and didn't do well in the finals. So let's hope today she's on her game. If she gets started off on the right foot, she'll be very competitive. The size of track won't bother her. Uh, she's her first time in a half mile track, but that won't bother her. There was some talk about her size in the half mile track. Do you have to say that smaller horses are better suited for the half? No, not at all. It's just a gate of the horse. Uh, there's a lot of big gated horses that are gated right. They'll get around these turns fine. Well, the wind is coming into play here today, Chuck, but is that any factor for your filly? No, I don't think so. Uh, you know, I don't know if you want to be first over in a day like today, go down the backstretch into all that wind, but, uh, you know, most of the time they'll go through it pretty good. Well, John Campbell will probably make that call for you, whether or not she comes first up, and I'm sure you're very at home when he's in the bike. How do you go about picking your driver for your horse? Is it just uh, something that each horse is an individual, or do you just get who's best at the time? Well, usually I just raced uh, two- and three-year-olds, and uh, when I start with a two-year-old year, uh, usually we start at the Meadowlands, uh, and I try to get John. I'm good friends with John, and he drives most of my two-year-olds their first starts. And, uh, you know, after that, we decide where they're going to go and who's going to drive them. But most of them, he starts off with them. All right. And does he give you a lot of input? Oh, yeah. John's very good at that. When he gets off the bike, he tells you exactly what he thinks, and most of the time, he's right on. You're a native of Toledo, Ohio, so all the Ohioans can go, yay, that they have a part to play in your success. But did you come to Delaware well before you were ever a trainer? No. The first time I came to Delaware uh, was I was like 19 years old. It was my first year training, and I came down here just to see the big boys, and it was quite exciting for me. Is it any the less exciting now or more so? No, you know, once you win a major race, boy, this is what it's all about, and it's quite a thrill every time you win one. And quite a thrill to have you here, as always, Chuck Sylvester. Thank you very much. Thank you. And let's go back to the infield. Thanks a lot, Trish. Ellie, I think Chuck Sylvester had probably the fastest and most talented three-year-old trotting called Dream Vacation.